Hi, this is uh, Lieutenant J.D. Jacobs Zewick with Fort Spokane Battalion. Uh, in this video, we're going to discuss how to transfer cadets uh, from command to command in Magellan. Um, all right, so we have a cadet that's transferring to Fort Spokane Battalion from Training Ship Spokane. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, show you how to do that here, and we'll get it done in probably a couple minutes. It's really easy, actually. So what we'll do is uh, the requesting command needs to put in the request for transfer, okay? So if somebody, you know, cadets move and all that stuff, we have actually had a, a, quite the influx of cadets move to our region uh, from outside of our, our region. Uh, so, you know, when when they say, hey, your uh, cadet's coming to, you know, Spokane, they're moving to Spokane, I'll be like, okay, well, I'll, I'll put in a request for transfer. So what we do is uh, we're going to go ahead and come here. You'll go to Cadets, and then you'll click on Request Transfer here. So his last name. Daniel Sprague, that's the cadet. See, he's turning, he's turned 13. He's requested to transfer to uh, Fort Spokane Battalion. So we'll go ahead and click Request Transfer here. Cadet has requested transfer to Fort Spokane Battalion from Training Ship Spokane. All right, and of course, you know, you could, you know, the send losing unit transfer request, it has to go to them. So we'll go ahead and click save, okay? That request is in. So what you're gonna see is you have your outbound request here, okay? And it says when the, you know, request was made, how many days it's been in the in their queue, and the current location. So what we'll do is we'll go back over to Training Ship Spokane, and you'll see there's an inbound request right there, okay? So we'll click on it, Cadet Transfer Request, Approve Deny, and of course, there's all the notes that I just created. Um, and you have options here. You can approve the transfer request, deny the transfer request, and update comments only. Uh, if you're going to deny the transfer request or update comments only, you know, have a good reason. Okay, um, make sure you're op you're openly communicating with the CO of the of the other command because that way they're not going to get perturbed or upset uh, about you know your actions. Uh, the, the biggest key is communication. You know, if everything is kosher, everything looks good. You've talked to the CO and you gave them a good brief about the cadet's progress and you know all that stuff. Approve the transfer request, click save, and that's that. It's done. Um, and that's how you transfer you know cadets between commands. You know again, you know you just go here, you you, you click on cadets, request cadet transfer, and of course you'll see him. He's listed now with Fort Spokane Battalion. Uh, with our command, there's a few extra steps that we have to take. We have squad lists that we'll have to update and whatnot, but that's really easy stuff that doesn't need to be documented on here. Um, but other than that, that's how you transfer cadets between commands. It's very easy. Um, as always, if you have questions, uh, you can contact me directly, uh, or you can visit the FAQs, Frequently Asked Questions here, and a lot of it is documented right here. So that's that. Of course, uh, their physical file, when a cadet transfers, it needs to be sent through the mail. So you'll want the commanding officer's address, and again, that's an, involved in the communication aspect of things, that, you know, it's best to actually talk to them, uh, you know, the, the commanding officer for the command that the cadet is going to. So get their address, put their file in the mail, and they'll be officially transferred at that point. All right, that's that. Thank you much.